Hello and welcome to today's episode. Now this is episode two or part two of the golf strip down. Now just a brief cap, in the first episode of this golf strip down, we removed the front doors, we removed the boot lid and we removed the front brakes as well. Now in today's video, we're gonna be taking the dashboard out, the center console. I'm also gonna be removing the fuel tank and the fuel lines and then that's pretty much it with this car. Right, so as you can see, I've started to take the panels off. Um, I'm going to take the under tray off here. We can take the glove box out over there, and we can take the other trim off. And we're going to get the steering wheel off. Um, just start undoing the bolts and see how we get on. Just a case of just undoing the um, screws, putting all these panels off. Famous last words. See, I've now taken everything out from underneath. Um, now just in the process of taking everything out of the centre console and getting the glove box out. I'm struggling a little bit to get out. It seems to be caught on something at the back. I'm not too sure. Okay, so I've now got all the plastics from underneath the steering wheel out. I've removed the centre console, that's now out, and I've also taken out the glove box. So the lower part of the dash is now out, I'm just going to finish off taking out the rest of this centre section. The handbrake's coming out, the handbrake lever, should I say, is coming out. I'd also forgot to mention, I don't know what that is, but I need to take the gear linkage and the gear shifter out, because that'll be going into the, into the red car. So I'm just going to get the steering wheel off as well, and start unbolting all the bolts that's holding the dash in, and hopefully... It won't be long before she's out. Okay, so the centre section is now out. All that's left to take out from the centre is the handbrake lever and the gear selector. We need to unbolt that from underneath the car. It's held on by four bolts. Now, if we come over to here, if you can see that the dashboard is very nearly out, just a few more bolts to undo and that should be out. Right, so that's everything in the car done. So we're now gonna move to the underside of the car and start by taking the fuel tank out and removing the fuel lines. Right, so as you can see, I've disconnected the fuel lines there. And um, what I'm doing now is just unclipping them from these, these brackets. So I've got one, one bracket there, one bracket there, and then they go into the chassis uh, to the engine bay and it's just a case of pulling them through. Okay, so I've taken the cover off to access where the fuel pump is. Uh, disconnected the electrics to that, so that should all come come down in, in one piece. Just have a look under here. Okay, so I've undone, I've undone these two front bolts for the brackets. As you can see, slowly but surely it's coming out. Um, so what I'm going to do is undo the, the rear two brackets and see if I can wiggle this out. Now, as you can see from my face, I've had a lot of fun, not. We have removed the fuel tank there. It was a bit of a nightmare. I did have to drop one side of the axle. What I did do is I cut the brake lines and the ABS. I wasn't going to be using them anyway, so that didn't matter. What I need to do now is I need to bolt that back up uh, just so the car's rolling and I can use that. Uh, I, can, I can get the car out. What I need to do is I just need to tidy up in the engine bay, just take a few last bits off that I think I'm going to need and then this car is ready to, to go. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep hold of the, the shell because um, I know what will happen. There'll be something I haven't taken off that I need for the red car. So I'm 
I'm just going to keep hold of it for a little while until I'm happy that I've got everything off that I need. And then that will be going. I will be getting the car out. The whole point of, of doing this is to make room so we can get the, the red car in. And that's, that's all done now. So I'm just going to quick tidy up. I'm going to take the last few little bits off in the engine bay. And then we're going to get it back on the floor. And hopefully it will be movable. <laughs> absolutely shattered what a day what a week I've had it, it's been testing it's been hard physically hard um, and I work on a building site you know and, and that's a doddle compared to this so the cars now done anyway so that's ready to, to go we just need to have a tidy up in here to make some room for when uh, the golf comes back that will be coming back on Saturday um, the video's going live Thursday, so Friday, Saturday, two days time. I will be picking the golf up, so I'm excited to, to, to finally get that back. And also, earlier on in the week, this happened. The BMW's now sold. I'm watching a few cars at auction. The auction is tomorrow, so fingers crossed. I'll have some good news for you guys. So there's, there's a lot happening. There's going to be a lot of great content, so I'm excited for the near future. It's going to be great. I've literally got no energy, so I'm going to end the video there. Don't forget, if you like the video, don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you're new and you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. Uh, but for, for now, that's all, guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace.